Hey everyone, welcome back to Mr. Phone Doctor. Today I've got something really exciting for all you repair enthusiasts out there. It's the Primo Polishing System by Red Wolf. This tool is a game changer for anyone looking to add a new service to their phone repair shop. The Primo Polishing System is known for its efficiency and precision when it comes to polishing and removing scratches from smartphone screens and watches. I will be covering everything that is included setup and a full demo on this Samsung screen. So let's dive right in. All right, let's start by showing you what is included in the polishing machine kit. Out of the box, we have this main polishing unit. It does come with a power cable and some USB cables to connect your device. You get two acrylic splash guards, one for the front and one for the back of the machine, a needle tip water bottle, and a brush bottle. This total set here will run you about $850. This is available on WGP's website. I will leave links to this product down below in the description area. And don't forget to use coupon code Mr. Phone Doctor. They will throw in this base here free of charge. Next up, we have the 100 use kit, which includes a 300 milliliters of polishing paste. You do get two polishing pads, a oleophobic coating remover, a tape roll, and this lint-free cleaning cloth. This retails at $3.99. One recommendation is for all you Apple Watch users that will be using this exclusively on Apple Watches, I highly recommend picking up these Apple Watch molds. Setting up the Primo polishing system is pretty straightforward. Just connect the power adapter to the unit and attach the weights for the Gravity Z. If you have an older model, please reach out to your distributor and ask them how you can upgrade it to the latest Gravity Z. The Gravity Z is a helpful upgrade that allows you to add weights to help with the polishing process. Lastly, attach your splash guards and polishing pad and you're good to go. One thing I really enjoy about this is how compact and user-friendly the design is. It is perfect for any workbench. Now let's fire it up and show you how the Primo polishing performs on the Samsung screen. To show you in detail what types of scratches the Primo polish removes, I use these special Mohs Hardness Kit scratch tools to scratch the screen. So here's an up-close look. You can see we have six, seven, and eight scratches. Six is the Primo Polish is going to be able to remove these without any issues. Number seven, we'll see how well it performs. And number eight, those are really, really deep scratches, so I'm curious to see how well the Primo Polish will work on these. The Primo Polishing system is app-based and works on both iOS and Android devices. After you download it, you will be prompted to create an account. I will log in using my current Red Wolf account. So Red Wolf does have a huge catalog of devices for you to choose from and is always updating models. So let's go in and choose Samsung Galaxy S9 Plus, since this is the model we'll be working on today. So device details, Galaxy S9 Plus, we can hit next. And here's a pre-launch checklist, okay? They wanna make sure that you're not using a screen that is cracked. You wanna verify that there's no discoloration on the screen as well. And you wanna make sure the device is turned off. And of course, we wanna photograph pre-existing damage so we can have a comparison before and after the polishing. Okay, so we wanna do a full polish. Now these other options here, spot polish and edge polish, these are all in beta right now. As soon as those are launched, those are gonna give you uh, different options to do a certain area. You can designate areas on the screen that you wanna focus on directly. But for this case, we'll just do a full polish since these are not available just yet. So now we wanna take our before photo. Perfect, so you can see we got a nice detailed image. So next up, we want to make sure that we have our Primo polishing machine selected. We have the Universal Fixture 16 and the Gravity Z. We can hit Generate Time Estimate, and there it tells you how, about how long this whole polishing process will take. Let's hit the Next. As you can see, the device moved its tray up so you can easily insert your device into the platform. Next up, it's going to ask us to apply any kind of tape, which we already did. We can hit Skip and it's gonna want us to load our device into the base. So you wanna just make sure the screen sits snug. I already pre-aligned it. We have a nice snug fit there. And then we can hit next. So in this preview mode, when you hit play, your spindle's gonna go over exactly and hover the whole pattern of the phone. So just pay close attention that it's not overlapping or it's not misaligned. Let's hit play and watch what it does.
And that's that. It went ahead and outlined the screen perfectly. I didn't see any misalignments. We can hit next. And now it's time to prep our job. To prep it, we'll use this bottle brush and just apply a liberal amount of polishing around the screen. Okay, we have applied all the paste on there. Next up, we will want to hit next. And it does inform you that you do want to watch for the motor. Make sure that you guys don't leave this unattended. If you see any kind of, uh, you know, bouncing or, or you see that something's acting up with the machine, by all means, just stop it and try to troubleshoot and see what's going on. For the most part, we haven't had any issues of that going on, but I just recommend with this equipment, don't leave it unattended when you're doing any kind of polishings. Okay, so we just wanna make sure you watch out for all these here. And let's hit start and play. All right, and the polishing process is underway. One thing I recommend is you pay close attention to the tachometer here. You want to make sure that this number is not going anywhere under 1000 RPMs, okay? You want it between 1000 and 1500. Now, if for any reason you see that this is starting to slow down, your polishing paste is starting to dry and cure. So if it does harden as you're going, you can use your H2O water bottle and just squirt a little bit of water on there just to help soften and and dilute the solution. If for any reason you guys need to add any more paste, feel free to go ahead and dab the screen with any extra paste as you're going along. I'll begin to do that and I'll just do a time lapse of this whole process so you can kind of see this whole operation underway. the job has completed let's take a look at the app and follow the next steps we'll hit next and here it prompts us to clean up any kind of paste remove the phone clean up remove tape clean up and spray and let dry for three minutes and this is going to be our oleophobic coating here so once we find out that everything is nicely polished we would run this step let's hit next and please clean the pad so with the pad, what I like to do is um, I'll just pull it off and just soak it in a little bit of water. And if, if for any reason you are not happy with the finished results on here, the Primo Polish system does allow you to repeat the job. So it's got a timer here that will count down three minutes to allow you to finish these steps in cleaning. And if you're not happy, put it back in here and we can repeat it. To clean this, I'm just going to use a paper towel and just wipe off all this paste. And if you have any excess hard solution on here or buffing compound we can just add a little bit of water i'm just going to use a little bit of uh, cleaning solution for this a little bit of windex won't hurt and we will get majority of all this gunk off of the screen so that way you can observe and see your finished results okay once you have majority of it clean we can use our cleaning cloth that they supplied and just give it a nice little buff and this is where we're going to examine the work that the Primo Polish just did. Let's get an up close look so you can see the finished polishing. And there you have it. You can see this was number six. We have number seven. And then we have number eight. So number seven, you can still see in the middle, there's a little bit of more scratches on here. And then there was one deep one. I may have actually gone a little bit too hard with the seven, but that is actually like a eight or nine scratch right here, that little guy. But you can see majority of the sevens are gone. All of the number sixes have disappeared, which is great. And then we have number eight. Number eight, these were just too deep. The gouges on these were just too, too deep for, for the machine. So six, no problems. Seven, no problem. Eight is where we have a little bit of issues on it, but to be able to move up a grade or two is amazing. 
you know, that saves you guys a lot of time and labor from having to replace the screen. You just simply put in the polisher and, and you're done. So as you saw, number six and number seven scratches, it had no problem removing. Number eight, those are gonna be iffy and you're more than happy to put the device back into the polisher up to three times. That's what Red Wolf recommends. So if you're not happy, set it back in there and rerun the polish. And I'm sure after a few more polishes, you're gonna get that nice clean finish that you're looking for. Now, since we weren't happy with the first results, I'm gonna run a second pass and I'll show you guys the second pass results. I'm gonna cut here. Once this machine finishes its second pass, I'll show you all the finished results. I just finished the second pass. Let me show you the results. So here's a closer look at the second pass. You can see the sixes have pretty much disappeared. Sevens, there's still a few sevens left. And I'm gonna say there is eights because this and these are eights. And a lot of the eights remained as well. So you can see here, these deep scratches are not something that the Primo Polish will be able to remove. But for sixes all day long, so that's gonna wrap up my video on the Primo Polish. I hope I went in depth for every one of you out there that is looking at purchasing this device. So just remember, Red Wolf recommends anything less than five microns, the Primo Polish will be able to remove. That's gonna help you get one grade higher if you're trading in your device or if you have a customer that just wants to remove those pesky scratches. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Remember, you can pick up this device at WGP's website. Links are in the description. Don't forget to like, and we'll see you guys in the next episode. Cheers.